Hello and welcome back to a brand new vlog. My name is Orion and I make videos every single Wednesday and Sunday and post them at 6pm. Where we are currently in the process of DIYing our home, renovating it to feel fresh and new, ready to move back into. Because in T-minus three weeks, we are moving back in here. In the last vlog, we tried to get all the plywood ready to put on the bench and we got some primer placed on the wall. But I kind of need to get a plan because I have something in my head that I need to get onto paper. So with a little bit of Photoshop later, this is the plan for the unit I intend to build. And I'll be honest, I feel like I've kind of outdone myself here with the designs. It's, it's quite literally a blueprint for a bench. So it's taken me a bit of time to draw all of this, but now I have a pretty firm and concrete idea of where measurements need to be, where I'm going to be placing things. So you can see from the front board here, we're going to have the kickboard there with the electrical panel for our sockets next to it. And then obviously we have the side panels that we need to put to close the whole thing out and then you can see from the side view here that we're gonna have a kickboard on the on this side as well however the one thing i haven't drawn here that you'll notice slightly here with this green is that there needs to be a little bit of wood here basically because obviously when i open this i don't want it to catch on the socket so it doesn't need to be much but we'll kind of play around with that as we get to it but i think with this plan we should be good so with the plan all drawn out i think what we should do is get a second color primer on this so the wall is basically done and ready for us to build into and then we crack on with the saw and we get all the plywood cut down to size so as you've seen me paint many times this is what it now looks like with some fresh paint on it now we have finally got most of this room painted i have to give credit where credit's due to this thing a few vlogs ago i talked about a painting tray that had a lid on it to keep it fresh and genuinely i take the roll off it i lock it all up in that with that lid and it actually does stay fresh single-handedly the best thing i've bought for painting it is so 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 good all right i think it's time we crack on one of the benches there's a couple of things i need to do before we start doing the plywood and one is cut a piece of timber to go in that gap there Okay, now we've got that, our second piece completed. I want to attach these two together. Now the seat is gonna go from here all the way across and that will tie it together quite nicely. However, to keep it all level and stuff because I'm working with carpet, I think I'm gonna use some brackets to bracket it together. So with the help of some clamps and my little friend over here, we're gonna stick some brackets here and here. Mission successful. Next up, I think it is time to stick some panels on the end and the top, which means using this for the first time. Following the guide of my plan, I'm gonna start with a side panel there and kind of work my way around to this side and hope that my measurements are perfect and i'm just going to make the cuts and then put them on after i've cut everything fortunately when i played jenga the other day and kind of arranged it all before cutting it i actually wrote on the panels what kind of you know cuts i need to make on them so i'm all ready to go we just need to set the saw up and here is what i'm thinking i'm going to put a piece of like scrap plywood like spare plywood i've got to give me enough clearance so i don't cut into the bar and then as you can see here i've set the saw up so i'm just about clearing the plywood all that's left to do is measure it up and make a marker and then i'm going to clamp down some two by three to use as a guide and we should be good to go well that was quite scary but it worked a tree time to grab the gopro and do that a few more times Okay, a lot of sawing later, we have finally got it finished. And now that I have all of the panels put in place, you kind of get an idea of what we're working with here. So you can see these two small bits in the corner. This is obviously gonna have the uh, the sockets in there. Uh, and this one is just to give me a bit of leeway so I can pull this, this kickboard down and this kickboard down without getting caught on the sockets. But I think, we're looking pretty good. I most definitely need to bring a hoover in here and like hoover up all the sawdust because there is so much dust in this room. So let's get this all cleaned up so we can start putting that together. However, one final thing I want to do, which is going to create a bit of sawdust, is I want to drill a hole through this piece of wood here and drill a hole through this piece of wood here to basically run the cable here cleanly and up to where it's going to sit on this panel here. So using my drill, we should get some clean holes that we can feed our twin and earth cable through. But right, this is looking much cleaner, which means we can finally get round to fix the panels to the frame now ordinarily i feel like i would use a nail gun to pin this to the frame however uh, i don't have a nail gun i don't have any nails 
uh, and I don't really want to spend any more money. So I think what I am going to do is put some more screws in it, along with some no more nails to tie it all together. So there we have it. That is the first panel on the end piece. And we've done the second panel, the other end piece. And at this point, I am very hesitant to actually put the seats on. I've placed them there for now, just so I can get the panels rightly on. And so I can finally sit on this thing. I could even lie on it. Oh my days. I'm so glad that this is coming together. But I don't want to put the... the uh, the seat's on just yet, just in case I need to go inside for any reason. Obviously, I'm going to be creating these doors here and here, but I don't want to limit myself access just in case I need to get in there. We'll almost definitely do the seats last, but for now, let's get the electrical panel on. And before we fit the panel into place, what we're going to need to do is cut out the holes for the sockets, and that's obviously going to be a lot easier to do when it's off. So what I've done is essentially marked the middle point and then eyeballed where I want the sockets to go. I would like them to go side by side, but I can't do that. Unless I start cutting some wood out of this, it just doesn't fit side by side, unfortunately. With our back boxes marked on the wood, we need to drill some holes in the corners. Like so, and then using our jigsaw, we cut around the hole. Just like that. And then hopefully this should just slot straight in like that. Oh, nice and snug, perfect. Just gotta do the other one now. Which unfortunately wasn't so perfect. Maybe I should have used masking tape because I've kind of snicked at it a little bit. Taking a little bite out the bottom here, but it's fine because I'll use some wood filler on that. And then when I paint over it, you probably won't notice anyway. But right, we have two socket things in place. What are they called? <laughs> it's been a long day. My mind is going completely blank. But yeah, we've got the back boxes in. Uh, let's let's connect the sockets. And this socket is very nicely color labeled for me. And here's a quick tip for anyone who changes sockets. If you want to get yourself a better connection when you put the wires in, then just bend the end there and make like a nice hook. Very handy when you've only got one cable in. I might uh, connect these two sockets to completely like a radial circuit. I need to check the other sockets, but just in case you only put one wire in, it's very good to bend. Just uh, don't bend your earth before you put the sleeve on. Yeah, my mistake, but we've got one socket on. And a little bit of electronics layer, we have the other socket on. The question is, is if I flick this switch, does it work? And the survey says, yeah. All right, we are starting to make some real progress in this thing, but I am running out of daylight, so let's turn the lights on. And it's a very tight squeeze, as you can see here by wedging these two pieces together, but, oh, we are nearly there. I have unfortunately, however, made a couple of mistakes, and this one is ever so slightly too big, uh, and this one is too small. And it has created a bit of a gap that I don't like. If I'd made the cut perfectly, then it would have been really snug like this and you both, it wouldn't have really noticed the gap. But obviously when you step away from it, you can really see a gap though, which is annoying. And this one is too big, which is actually okay because I can sand it down to fit it into, into place. I am also contemplating at this point whether I actually even want to put brackets on it because obviously the idea would be to have like a skirting here essentially. So if I cut the end bit off the bottom there, put a bracket on it, then obviously the door will fold down and it'll basically come out level here and I've got access to that. However, I keep using this term kickboard because that's what it is. Uh, and traditional kickboards, you don't actually, you know, have a bracket on or anything like that. They have like these clips that clip them on to the bottom uh, of your cabinets and stuff. So because this is obviously fit so snugly in there, I'm thinking of just like leaving it, essentially just floating there and maybe getting some clips to clip it onto. So when I want to get access to it, I can literally just take the panel off uh, rather than having a handle on it with brackets and stuff like that. Because... When I finish painting it, and I actually decorate this thing and stick like panels on it and all that kind of stuff, I feel like if I have like big hinges and brackets and stuff and like handles on the bottom, it's gonna look weird. Obviously I could make it aesthetically pleasing to make it look like a drawer, but to be honest, I feel like if it's just one seamless like kickboard, that you know you don't notice that it comes off, I feel like that's gonna look way nicer. Another thought now after having it in place of all of the plywood and the wood on there, is whether it even needs to be pinned to the wall, because honestly, this thing is solid and it's really not going anywhere. It's genuinely got so much weight on it that I just can't see it moving. So I don't think I'm even gonna pin it to the stud wall. But right, I think what we should do to wrap up today's vlog is get these holes filled with uh, some wood filler, because I've obviously put screws in there, cover those up so we can leave that to dry, get this piece of panel here sanded down so it fits in there perfectly, and probably pin down the seat. Once I get this sanded down, I'm not gonna really need access from the top anymore. Uh, and as you can see here, I. Just need to sand down the top there because it's a bit too snug so if i level this line out we should get this fitting in perfectly so i've got my mouse with a low grip paper and we're just gonna smooth it out that is looking much better all right all we need to do now is fill things in i would like to cut another panel here uh just so it's 
there isn't a hole there. But as I don't really want to waste any more plywood, I'm going to build everything else first. And if I've got some scrap left over, then I'll build a new panel there. But for now, I'm going to go around with some of this wood filler, fill in all of the holes that I've made. Like, even though you can't see it, unless you really crouch down, I know that's there. So I'm going to fill that in and then probably go around and just give things like a little hand sand over just to get rid of these sharp edges. So, you know, Benjamin doesn't hurt himself. So one little bit of filler later and some sanding to make things smooth. I think we are pretty much at the halfway point. I need to go away really and plan what to do with the backboard next uh, and kind of a think about what i'm going to do with the cupboard doors so make sure you leave a comment in the section below with your suggestions as to what you do with the kickboard because i kind of think the idea of just leaving them in place maybe just clipping them on is going to be more than enough but as always guys if you have enjoyed this video please leave it a thumbs up rain i would really appreciate it if you are new here then make sure you hit subscribe because we're on the road to 25k but as always guys it's been a ryan thank you so much for watching peace peace much love Bye bye